New tonight, we're hearing from the Worth County clerk who was fired at last night's commission meeting. This comes after she was on probation for the past 60 days. Fox 31's Cody Long joins us live in the studio with more. Yeah, County Clerk Renee Whidbey says she's not surprised that the Worth County Commission let her go. She says there's been a divide in the office, especially for the past few months, and she thinks the decision was personal. I ask this in your sweet son Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Former Worth County Clerk Renee Whidbey started her grievance hearing against the Board of Commissioners with prayer. There has been a divide in the office for quite some time. Whidbey was terminated Tuesday night after being on a 60-day probation. Whidbey, as clerk, was responsible for preparing the minutes at each meeting. That's posted for the public to read what occurred and what was voted on. Commissioners say she did not complete the minutes within the three days she was allowed. They've changed their minds several times as to when they would like the minutes to be produced. You know, I've always been able to get my minutes done in the time allotted. That time frame actually changed um, from September last year to January 5th this year. It went from five days to three days. Overall, commissioners say it is, quote, poor job performance that got her on probation within the 60 days, which started January 5th. They say it worsened. How has it worsened? When you come in the office, you barely speak. You do speak. Most, most times you're in, in there with the door closed. Commissioner Betty Bozeman says Whidbey was terminated for both insubordination for an email she sent February 5th, as well as misappropriation of funds for enrolling herself in unapproved training. But Whidbey says otherwise. Uh, it can't be an, an issue of misappropriation of funds when it's a budgeted item. At the beginning of the year, it is placed in the budget for training, travel by the county clerk and any other personnel in the, in the commissioner's office for traveling. Whidbey says in her three years as clerk, she never received any write-ups until January 5th, a few weeks after she filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Prior to that, there was no evidence that I even had a job performance issue. She says now she's received eight write-ups. She also mentioned she does not have a formal job description, to which the commissioners did not respond. The board voted 4-1 to one to fire Whitby, Joe Gaines being the one to vote no. The termination isn't effective until Friday, March 6th. We here at Fox 31 have filed an open records request to get a copy of one, that email that was sent, that commissioners say was disrespectful, as well as Whidbey's personnel file. Doug.